This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 20 of Fast and Furious Build the Legendary Dodge Charger RT from Fan Home. Um, yes, let's get with the magazine and then we'll get with seeing what we're going to be building. It's it's more of this. Look, there's more. There's, there's parts, uh, parts, metal parts, um, and one little plastic bit. But yes, it's the uh, steering gearbox that we're doing today. But before that, as ever, we'll have a look into the magazine and see exactly what's what. Let me move this out of the way so we can get the full page of the magazine open. There you go. Uh, so yes, um, the Fast and Furious, world of Fast and Furious, the FBI. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Important part in the Fast and Furious franchise. It was indeed, yes. There we go. Uh, yeah. Mia. Pages stuck together, so we can't read all of those. But yes, there we go. Uh, the Dodge brand in Brazil. Uh, Chrysler Group in Brazil in 1967. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're definitely worldwide, aren't they now? Uh, right, the pieces for this stage. We have the steering gearbox pieces, steering gear pinion, steering column, uh, pitman arm. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Uh, so these parts are going to go together and they're going to connect into the engine today. Eventually, obviously, the steering wheel will be attached to that. So you can turn the steering wheel and it will turn the wheels. I'm assuming this is fairly realistic to how cars work. But as ever, I don't know how cars work, so I can't possibly comment as to the accuracy of these parts and things but uh yeah let's get the first few stages up in the picture and see what we're going to do uh right we are sliding the pit now for some reason these are showing as all black but they're not all black uh right 21 slide the pinion onto the square end that's the square end uh making sure it goes on that way round like that so that goes on there that's fairly easy i i can i can handle that it's a little bit loose but that's not a problem for that sort of attachment i don't think uh put the other one so we did that and then we've got to put it down and pick up the rest of it uh we need which one no, not that one that one is what we need at the moment this is going in there like that there's no lubrication in any of this i might add some oil before i lock it all up or I might just open it up and get some oil in there after the fact so we'll, we'll see uh, right now we're putting this into the diagonal housing uh, so it comes out there all oh, right it's very diagonal isn't it yeah so that's going in there like that okay I, I understand how that works that's fine um, now if you are lubricating this make sure you don't lubricate the actual gears themselves they should mesh without any lubrication but you might want to do something down the the tube so that's going in there like that that is then going on top and is being held in place with a couple of cm screws i've got here i've got there so that's going together like that so uh, yeah i mean that probably where the steering wheel is going to attach and that will turn that end in there which it does so yeah so far so good that looks like the other end of the steering wheel i'll get it and test it and see and before i put these two screws in it looks like there should be three screws certainly three screw holes uh, but it's saying put it in that way round and just go through these two, not that one over the back there for some reason. We'll have a look at that in a moment and see. Uh, it just says use two. 
So maybe something else is adding into that at some point. But I'm going to get some oil in there, get these screws in the front to where it says to do, and I'll dig out the steering wheel and we'll see what's going to happen. Right. Um, yes, it looks very much so like that is just going to connect in there with a screw, no doubt, holding that together. So that will attach on there. So this is going to be where the steering wheel sits, but not yet. Uh, I have, in fact, put a third CM screw in on that point there because you're not going to be able to get to that after the fact. And it's definitely going to have to be there. But this uh, now all turns lovely in there. It catches on a couple of points, but I think that's, again, just general stiffness of a few of the gear points. So that will wear in eventually. It's working mostly all of the time. Uh, so next up, this is being fitted onto here. Uh, basically, you've got the two holes there with the semicircular cutout. That's where that's going to go. Just down there like that. That's what I was saying, as obviously you're never going to be able to get to that with the entire engine being in the way. So that's going in there like so and is being held in place with two AM screws. From the other side so that's the tricky bit now is going to be turning over getting that uh we're aiming for uh where are we going that one and that one the other side of this silver block so let's try and get that done while being at least mostly on camera going that down there feels like that's going in the other screw in the other hole Down there and again feels like that's going in so let's go back tighten up that one where this is getting big heavy and metal i'm making sure that all of the screws get tightened down fully at each stage because that's what you need to do basically so that's going to be where the steering wheel will attach as it comes out and that will be what we're going to do next is going to be attaching this to that the steering bracket now that can rest up on there there's nothing on the other side of that uh let me turn the page and see what's happening at 20.7 yeah it's just putting that in place so we've got this linkage point which is going across there uh 20f yeah looks like a screw is going to be used in there at some point a dm screw going in from the other side this is just going on the top there with a cm screw because that's square onto that square like that let me get a cm screw that leaves one in the bag there which is what normally happens there's one spare so i'm happy to have used the other one in there get that on there doesn't feel like that's biting against anything so let's check to make sure it is actually lined up i don't think it is yet well that should be because that is square that way let's take the screw back out and try that again definitely turning a bit there i think let's try turning it on that there. I can feel it wanting to turn, so I'm pretty sure that is okay. I just obviously didn't have it lined up properly with the screw and the screwdriver and the stuff and the thing. Let's try that again. No, that's not wanting to go in there. Uh, is that even? Screw hole. Not convinced that that's a screw hole in there. Hmm. I'm going to have a closer look at that and see if I've got everything. It's got to be that way around because of the way it is. Right, I'm going to take that back out and investigate and see exactly what's what. Okay, I have disassembled it and found the problem. Yeah, this part has not been moulded correctly in my version there should be a thread on there this fits over there as it would in the actual kit and you use a screw to hold that in place on the end there but this has no hole so 
instead of having to go to the, the trouble of getting a replacement, I'm just going to go ahead and drill a hole through there and tap it to make it a thread. So that will work and hold that in place. It shouldn't matter too much because that's going to be held in place with a screw on this side anyway. So it will be about there and it's only the steering that's only going to turn a very little bit anyway. But uh, yeah, I'll get that drilled and get that threaded behind the scenes. And I shall return to you when I've got it back where it should be. So there we have it. I've drilled, tapped and inserted that in there. That's nice and secure on there. So now I need to take it back out, uh, refit everything back into the gearbox assembly thing the uh, and uh, put it all in properly. So that's how it should look. That's not how mine looks. If yours isn't like that, obviously, if you're happy with it, you can drill a hole and make it make a thread in there. If you're not happy with that, then obviously just contact Fan Home. I'm sure they'll ship you out the correct part. But hopefully it's just a one off and it's me that gets it wrong. So thank you very much. And yeah, I've, I've cured it. Let's get it all back together again and we'll see how we end up. That's that back in place. That's where that should be now. And that should turn. Yeah, as I turn the steering wheel attachment, that turns that. Now I've got to put a DM screw through the other side of that. So let's get that lined up there. Turn it back over. I can see it through there. I've got a DM screw ready to go. These are the ones with the built-in washer. So that needs to go somehow down through out there and into there. No, it was in the right sort of place, but not quite the right angle. Right, this is going to be a tricky one to do on camera. I think one of us can see it, and it's either going to be you or me, and I don't think it's going to be me. Right, I'm going to not do this bit on camera. I'll get the screw back out of there and attach it as it should be. And see it, and come back and show you the finished item. So, there we have it. I did actually find it a lot easier to take off this bit and attach this one first. I'm pretty sure that's what it actually says to do in the instructions. Uh, yeah, it says do the DM one first. So yeah, always do that. Don't don't try and do what I did. It doesn't work very well. But that now, if I can hold it and turn that bit, turns the steering. Uh, I think that's probably as far as it's meant to go. Obviously, they would go a little bit further, but I don't know. It's just tight. It might wear in, it might wear out, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's all working now as it should. So you can turn the steering wheel from that or turn the wheels from the steering wheel when that's attached on there as well. It looks very low, but it might be. There might be more connection points to go in there. I really don't know. It just looks like it matches up too well for anything else. So that's that. Um, that was stage 20, uh, changing the pistons because we talked about pistons last time, so they're obviously talking about changing them, replacing them with better ones or whatever. Uh, yeah, high performance engines still useful advice. Before proceeding with the final assembly, check the clearance of each piston. Yeah, make sure it all works before you put it all together. It's nice high engineered stuff in there and some really fine detail work. Yeah. So that's that, that was stage 20 thank you very much for watching i shall see you shortly for 21 or other part works in between so thank you very much for watching stay safe see you soon bye bye for now